Hey, what's up everyone? This is Andrew. So I've seen a lot of posts going around asking about why would anyone want to rent an NFT? It seems like such a far-fetched idea right now, especially when a lot of metaverses aren't grown out and there's not a lot of utility in the metaverse world. It's also a very new thing in the real world, so it just doesn't make a lot of sense as of right now. But if you look one, two, three years down the road or more, there seems to be plenty of opportunities on why people would wanna rent your NFTs and how you can make some passive income just holding your NFTs. So instead of just planning on selling your NFTs for profit, it might be more profitable to actually hold them, let them grow in value, and then rent them out on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. So I'm gonna talk about reasons for VV NFTs, but this really applies to any NFTs out there. And we're gonna put these reasons in two different categories, the metaverse category and the real world category. So let's jump into the reasons. And if you wanna continue getting these videos when I upload them, hit that subscribe button, throw a thumbs up in there, and comment down below if you think of other reasons that I don't list here as well. So let's jump into it. Starting with the metaverse reasons. Number one bragging rights. This might be the top reason people are thinking about renting NFTs right now is just for the bragging rights. So whether you're putting it as your social media profile or you're having a party on your metaverse land and you want to have a top blue chip NFT where people can come and see it, then this is a reason that you may want to rent out an NFT versus buying it. Number two is gameplay. Now, right now, especially in the VVverse, gameplay is only a rumor, but in other metaverses, gameplay is a lot of the economy and what's gonna be driving people to come to these metaverses. But let's take the VVverse as an example. The number one thing people point to as potentially having a mini game tied around it are the Marvel Mighties. The Marvel Mighties are definitely a lower cost NFT compared to a lot of the other NFTs on the platform right now. But depending on the Marvel Mighty that you're going for, they can already be going for thousands of dollars. Now, if there is a gameplay based around the Marvel Mighties and you don't have a complete set, then you're going to want to rent out a Marvel Mighty to be able to participate in this gameplay. The reason you might do that is just to have fun, to play with your friends, have something to do. Or if there's a reward tied to it, you're gonna want to rent out a Marvel Mighty to be able to play that game. And this can go on with a number of NFTs. We all know that there are vehicles. The DeLorean coming out soon is the 007 car. We have motorcycles, we have hoverboards. And if you're able to race or do anything with those as well, those may be out of reach or thousands of dollars years down the road and it might be more conducive to be able to just rent those NFTs out to play that game. Number three is to complete a set. As we know, some sets on VV, they can be multiples of characters, three, four, five, or more characters per set. And you may want to complete that set for whatever reasons it may be, but maybe one, two, or three of those collectibles are out of reach by the time you have the money to actually complete that set. So in order to do so, maybe you want to rent one instead of actually purchasing that. There's many more reasons why you may want to rent to complete a set, which we'll go over in just a second, but completing a set is definitely a reason why you may want to rent a collectible versus buy in the near future. Number four, to be a part of an exclusive drop. Right now, pretty much everyone can participate in any sort of drop that is happening on VV. But as we move into the future, there's gonna be a lot more drops per week. And depending on how desired a collectible may be in the future, they may have an exclusive drop. Now that ties back into why you might want to rent and complete a set is because maybe if you hold a particular set, that is the only way that you can be part of this exclusive drop. So instead of spending hundreds to thousands of dollars to complete that set, or maybe if it's just to have one collectible to be a part of this exclusive drop, it may make sense to rent that collectible instead of actually purchasing it. Number five is breeding. Now breeding, we're gonna use the word loosely, but you may need to rent collectibles to be able to create new NFTs. Now in other such NFT projects, if you have two certain NFTs, and you combine those NFTs together, then you can actually create other NFTs from that. 
from those created NFTs that you now own, you can now resell those or re-rent those out. So instead of having to buy those two or maybe you own one and you need to rent the other one, then you can combine those and be making a passive income or some sort of profit from being able to breed your NFTs. It's a pretty wild idea, but this is the norm in a lot of other NFT projects. And being able to do this same thing in the VVverse may be a real thing. Number six, access to different areas. Now, as we all know, I don't need to tell you this, but VV has a license for Disney, Marvel, DC, and the list go on and on. With that, we can envision a world inside the VVverse to where there's gonna be different areas to visit. There's gonna be DC land, there's gonna be Marvel land, there's gonna be a Disney land within the VVverse. Now, once again, this is all speculation right now as nobody knows exactly what the VVverse is gonna be like, but if there are other areas of the VVverse to visit, maybe by only holding a certain collectible or a certain set, are you able to access that part of the VVverse? And if you don't own that and you wanna go in for a day or for a week, you are gonna probably want to rent out that collectible to be able to access that part of the world. So instead of spending all your money just to be able to access this part of the VVverse, for a lower price, you can rent that collectible, see that part of the world, see if that's something that you want to be able to have permanent access to, and just rent that collectible before you make that huge purchase. Leveling up for instance, in the Masters Collector Program. Now this as well, we've only seen documentation about what the Masters Collector Program will be, but we know by having a certain amount of collectibles in your collection at certain levels of rarity that you get daily, weekly, monthly points that will put you in certain levels of the Masters Collector Program. In order to level up quickly, or maybe you're right on the line between certain levels and you need to get those extra points to move you up to the next level, you may want to rent a collectible. Now, once that renting economy starts up, maybe there is a secret rare that is actually fairly low cost to rent versus to own. And by doing so, renting that for a certain amount of time, it gives you those points, you're able to level up and get to that next level. Now, as you can see, there are plenty of reasons within the digital realm why someone would want to rent an NFT. But now, let's go into the real world. Number one is exclusive parties. We are starting to see this in big NFT projects like the Bored Ape Yacht Club, and we're also starting to see this within Vivi as these groups are starting to form. As these collectibles start to grow in notoriety and to grow more cult following, there may be exclusive parties that you can enter if you hold a certain collectible. Now, it can be for any reason that maybe the Ecomi or VV team is holding an in-person gathering. And if you hold a certain collectible or a certain set, then you're able to get into that party for free versus paying a cover charge. Or maybe your favorite YouTuber or influencer is holding a party. And if you hold a certain NFT that you're able to come into the party, or it may just be for networking in general, but either way, there could be groups forming around a certain NFT. And for a certain event that is maybe tied to a character, a movie, something like that, there may be real world access into these parties by holding these NFTs. And if people are holding parties around these NFTs and they are out of reach cost wise, you'll probably want to rent that NFT to access that party. Number two are special experiences. As we know, we have Disney as part of the VV family and we have the first ever Disney NFTs on the blockchain. Now, none of this has been confirmed, but there is plenty of utility that could be built in to be able to access parts of Disneyland. Whether that's just a discount for holding this NFT or possibly having a fast pass experience by if you hold a certain NFT that you can get to front of certain lines or which I think is the coolest that as these NFTs grow out and people like more of these digital experiences tied with the real world, you could have a special experience that no one else can have. And what I mean by that is, let's say you have the first ever Star Wars NFT. You're able to show your QR code at the front of the door, and by holding it, maybe for that day, or whether it's just an ongoing thing, 
but by holding that Star Wars NFT, you're able to have an experience that no one else around you is going to have. Now, as everyone else is getting on that ride or roller coaster, just as a regular person would, they hand you a VR headset that you're able to put on and have a totally new experience that no one else is able to have. And just by holding that NFT, you, your family and friends around you are all able to have that special experience that maybe because each one of these NFTs are $10,000 or more that you would be willing to spend a few hundred to 500 to maybe even a thousand dollars to be able to have that extra experience like no one else can have. That then will just grow the awareness of that NFT as people in line see you wearing this VR headset, they wanna know what that's about. They wanna have that experience as well. And by doing that, they're able to research that more and then it's gonna be able to rent out even more and more in the future. And lastly, other exclusive events like movies, telegram groups, and discords. Now this is a little mix between the metaverse and real world, but basically the options are endless. As long as there are people that find these things valuable, whether it's you know some high-end, high-cost NFTs that everyone desires, or whether it's just you and your friends that think this NFT or this set is really cool and you start to grow a cult following around it, you can really build in any sort of utility that you want. That's why I think this world is so cool and I know people get stressed out and they get worried because things aren't happening as fast as you may like it. And timelines seem to draw out longer than promised and it's hard to envision what it is gonna be moving forward. And at the end of the day, we could be making some really good passive income, renting out our NFTs to people who want it to experience this world with us. You're lucky enough to have the mindset to know that these NFTs are gonna be something in the future and you're watching it evolve right before your very eyes. Well, I hope this brought some clarity to why people may want to rent out your NFTs. Maybe not just buying and selling to make a profit. That might not just be the end game. But as this space evolves, as this rental economy evolves as well, there seems to be plenty of reasons why people would want to rent out your NFT. And even though some of these reasons have not been confirmed yet and are only speculation, these are reasons why I could see someone wanting to rent out your NFT in the future. And I know that there are reasons we can't even think of yet that hasn't even been created on why people would want to rent out your NFT. And if you can think of any other reason why people would want to rent out your NFT that I missed, put it down in the comments down below. That's the point of this channel so we can all learn together. And as this space evolves, we can stay on top of it and really capitalize on this amazing opportunity we have right before us. So once again, if you wanna get these videos when I upload them, hit that subscribe button, throw a thumbs up in there, comment down below, it really helps the algorithm get this video out to other people looking for this information. Thanks again. I'll see you on the next one.